Hello, I'm Catherine, an educator at the Nasher. We are about to look at a sculpture titled Madeleine I by artist Henri Matisse. Henri Matisse was an innovative artist during the early 20th century. His brilliantly colored paintings and energetic brushstrokes led to a new art movement in France called Fauvism. Throughout his career, Matisse frequently turned to sculpture to find new inspiration for his paintings. Matisse was continuously exploring the movement of the human figure in his art. Creating sculptures allowed him to experiment with the various postures of the body beyond the limitations of a flat canvas. This sculpture, Madeleine I, was one of the first sculptures he created. This is a portrait of a young woman standing in an exaggerated pose. Stand up and see if you can make this pose. Is this a pose you often see people stand in? If so, when have you seen people stand this way? This could be how a dancer or a performer might stand, but most of us do not see people stand like this often. Matisse intentionally created sculptures of people in dynamic poses. His reason for this was to create figures that reflected his own creative and expressive energy. Although motionless, his sculptures are animated and full of a sense of potential movement. With this sculpture here, her body forms an unbroken S-shaped curve. The figure's arms are one with her torso, and the lack of facial features and details allow us to simply focus on the shape of her body. This sculpture is a plaster cast created by Matisse over his original clay model. The plaster cast allows us to see the lines and marks created by the artist, demonstrating the modern idea of celebrating the artist's creative process. Now, here's something for you to try. Have someone in your family strike a fun and exaggerated pose. With a pencil and paper, create a sketch of their pose. Go ahead and pause the video while you do this. Now, you are going to use your sketch as inspiration for a work of art. Think of a scene or situation where someone might be making the pose you just sketched. Create a drawing of a scene from your imagination using crayons or colored pencils and include the sketch of your family member somewhere in the scene. You can find additional resources related to this artwork in the description of this video. See you at the next artwork.